Hey, thanks for tuning in to this trailer reaction here on Nerd Talk on the Nerd Network. I'm super excited about this. It's a much anticipated product out of Amazon Prime. We got the first trailer for the Fallout series. I have not played the first Fallout game. I know, nerd credentials, whatever. Dead Razor, can you give us like a 30, 60 second microcosm of what Fallout is? Oh my god. Fallout takes place after it's a post apocalyptic nuclear bullshit. Giant roaches, ghouls, ogres, <laughs> mutants, everything. That took a turn I didn't expect it to. Giant roaches. Yeah, well, it's atomic punk. So you know how there's steampunk oh, and okay. cyberpunk. It's atomic punk. The basic setup for the series, for the world, is uh, atomic energy worked the way that everyone dreamed it would in the 50s and became a common staple. Your car was nuclear-powered. You had oh. nuclear-powered robots as butlers in your home in the middle class. Uh, but then World War III broke out, and it was even worse than we ever would have imagined. Uh, there were shelters, there were fallout shelters, called mm -hmm. vaults, uh, and that yes. some individuals managed to get into them before the bombs fell. It has been a long time. Dead, are we like centuries? I forget how long it's been since the bombs dropped. It's been about 60 to 100 years, and it wasn't necessarily that the individuals got into the fallout shelters. It was the company yeah, that created the fallout shelters. Oh, ran I was going to leave experiments. That. Yeah, I was going to leave that part for later, for after the trailer. But yes, there is there are deep, dark, weird secrets going on about the vaults. They are not the havens that they were meant to be. Huh. Or at least advertised to be, rather. Um, it is a, it is a series that start off. It's a pretty old series. Fallout One and Two were uh, top down, clicky mouse kind of, and then uh, technology related to Bethesda, right? Uh, and things like Oblivion and Skyrim got introduced into the series of games, and we get Fallout Three and Fallout New Vegas which are the ones I've played. I did not get around to playing 4, and I did not play Fallout 76 or whatever it was called. Yeah. Um, I've played but all of them. It's a great and series. It's a great setting, and it's definitely not one I would have expected to see adapted for television, not because it isn't a great world, but just because it feels a little niche. Mm -hmm. uh, this is not Star Wars. This is not Wheel of Time. This is not Tolkien. Um... Although, speaking of Wheel of Time and Amazon, I really hope they don't do Fallout dirty like they did Wheel of Time. Well, what you're about to watch, you're going to like. I, I liked the original trailers for Wheel of Time, too, so... I, I don't know how to judge this, so I'm going to rely on you guys. Um, as we've mentioned, it's coming out from Amazon Prime on April 11th. Directed by Geneva Robertson Dwarrett. I hope I'm saying that right. The only two actors I see that I know names of are Walton Goggins from things like the Ant Man trilogy. No, just the second Ant Man, The Righteous Gemstones, Principles, and a host of other things. Uh, and Kyle McLaughlin, whose one role that I know of him in is Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., where he plays Sky's dad. Um, other than that, I don't know any of these other people. So I'm kind of excited Walter about Goggins. this. Walter Goggins also had a guest starring recurring role in Sons of Anarchy. He played Ooh. a trans uh, vestite uh, prostitute named uh, Venus Van Dam. He was also in <laughs> Justified, The Hateful Eight. Um, he he was he, it was so funny watching him as a transvestite in Sons of Anarchy. It was it was absolutely he made that character and the fact well, that one of the the motorcycle club member tig really had a thing for him like huh well and he's playing the ghoul which is another piece of the fall lore and is a is another character that could potentially be a caricature that should be played very legitimately if it's going to work so that's really encouraging uh that he has bona fides of playing characters that other actors or directors might choose to play offbeat in a way that wouldn't necessarily be helpful cool 
Well, are you guys ready to dive into the trailer? Oh, oh yeah. hell yeah. Let's go. All right. Hello there. I'm here to show you a wonderful place. Ha! A veritable Camelot of the nuclear age. Not made by God Almighty, but... Well, we got pop made. toys. That's a... Big, that's a feature of the universe. That's a big thing in the games. Huh. Because if the worst should happen tomorrow, the world is going to need you to build a better day after. I love how you can hear the uh, rad meter in the background. Right. Yeah. The mission of the vault should be important to everyone. They're coming out of Vault 33. Is that some significance? Yes. Okay. Holy shit. You're an actual vault dweller. I am. So this takes place in Santa Monica, California. Oh, it's a setting we've not seen before, really. No. Huh. What you're doing is insane. Westworld director, that makes sense. You set the world on the vault out there. Big. I've had a rough week. Practically every person I've met out here has tried to kill me. Oh, I know the robot. You must go home. You come from a world of rules, of laws. You should not be alone. I swear that was a young Denzel Washington. Why did you join the Brotherhood? To hurt the people who hurt me. People are going to come after you. Is that what we got? Yeah. Yeah, he plays the oh. Well, now that is a very small drop in a very, very large bucket of drugs. Ah. Oh, man. Out of this wasteland, looks like chaos, but there's always somebody behind the wheel. It looks like Deadpool. Ooh, the rat bear. Yeah. Bear. <laughs> what is happening here? Everyone wants to save the world, they just, they just disagree on how. There you are, you little killer. <laughs> oh. Alright, Dead Razor, let us have it. All right, you've got dog meat, you've got the rad roach, you got the rad bear, you got the Brotherhood of Steel. Like everything that made Fallout, what Fallout is, is there. The from a world building perspective, they have absolutely included all the things that you really do need to include for it to feel like Fallout. So and it sounds and, and the like music the story. Oh well, yeah, but I mean the. Music is such an important piece of the video game that that's almost an easy give me, right? Because they already have all of that library. Of let's let's that not say it's an easy give me because I know another video game adaptation right now that isn't using any sound effects or music from the game. So we'll Which say that bonkers. they're a win here. Um, yeah. So the only actual, I didn't think about this till we started watching the trailer, but I played the mobile app where it's like that build a vault yes. thing yeah this robot you could buy one of these and it would do work yeah. is yeah. this like the butler thing you're talking about the, the, you would have the same platform but as a butler for example yeah okay i dig it yeah so these think these of this like very the, interchangeable. R, the r series chassis and then you can make it what you want what it needs to be for different applications this looks okay. like it's a medical application version of the robot it's nuclear powered because everything is okay. in Fallout. Um, 
and uh, all of their programming is shoddy at this point because it's been decades and decades and they don't have they haven't had maintenance and they have they don't have their owners really directing them properly and they're trying to figure out what to do instead now if you play fallout 76 and if you played it before the reintroduction of humans into the area the robots played a big part in the game because they're the ones that would give you quest lines and, and stuff like that gotcha. uh, i do want to say that because this takes place though in in uh in la in the off the santa monica pier we are actually seeing what happens in the new california republic yes after world war three so there okay. are different factions there are different factions that are in charge of different areas and the new california republic was introduced in fallout new vegas okay yep. So I feel this... like this moment is somebody had the idea of putting the red skull on the west, the wild west. I the thing is, this is I mean maybe from the comic books perspective, uh, but again the ghouls and the western feel and stuff like that. This is all very consistent with the games uh, and the lore of the game. What, a... One thing I did notice that they did leave out is you don't see any super mutants yet. 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 That's got to be a real hard CGI effect or... or uh, well, uh, they're just saving it. hard makeup, I mean, you don't, yeah. You, just, this, you don't want to show everything. Ah, uh, the vault. This looks Man, amazing. the vault is amazing. It's, I mean, that's Kyle yeah. McLaughlin. He's a fantastic actor, man. It, it, I'm hopeful. It sounds like the storyline might be very consistent. Uh, I thought I thought the first season or so of Westworld was really good. I think the people that brought us that uh, are probably the, some of the right people to have brought us this. I, I am encouraged, but I also have seen Amazon. They make they make some interesting choices. Some of their stuff is really really good, and some of their stuff is really not. Now this so if is they can be true to us... source. This this show should give us the background though into Vault Thirty Three because Vault Thirty Three is is one vault that is not in um, Fallout lore yet. Right, that's one of the things a lot of the games each do is each of the games tends to give us the lore of a new vault because each of the vaults have their own right. issues. I do recall that. Is this? Please tell me this isn't a radioactive bear. It's it a red is. bear being fought by uh, the Brotherhood of Steel. In power okay. armor. I take it. I dig it. Well, I'm excited about that. I definitely know we're covering this series. Because um, this is about as nerdy as you can get. And if we don't cover this, what, what the heck are we doing? <laughs> this there is you go. I'm 100% in. I might have to do a play for some of the Fallout games. I will be binge watching this the day it comes out. And it was April 11th? 12th. Mm, I thought it said 11th. 11. That says I'm 12th right it. there on your screen. <laughs> oh, I'm on my screen. On the background of the video. <laughs> cool. There you go. Well, I am excited about it. Uh, like he said, uh, it's April 12th. I will definitely be watching this on day one, too. It's a Friday night. I probably won't sleep that night. <laughs> Jay Sin City Night thank you guys for being here you can look for these reviews from us next month when they drop so just a little bit less than a month that's exciting y'all we will see you next time in the next trailer reaction here on the Nerd Network have an awesome night deuces <laughs>